Uh, bought this bike in college. It's a Surly Straggler. I think I got it in uh, 2017, the summer of 17. It was a good summer. I just wanted a nice bike uh, for cruising around Minneapolis. It was a two by back then. Didn't really know anything about biking. I also bought it to bike from Minneapolis to Seattle after college, which is something I didn't actually think I'd do. I just told too many people I was going to do it and felt like I'd be a baby if I chickened out. So kind of coerced myself into it. For this trip and for a lot of trips, I usually throw a big frame bag on and that'll hold anything from like a liter and a half Nalgene and another Nalgene stove, a uh, toiletry kit, like sometimes three to four, sometimes five dehydrated meals, a bunch of pro bars, superfood slam, um, and some, we did oatmeal this trip. So like all that'll go up here. And then like water, stove, miscellaneous stuffings, toilet paper, if I remember it, uh, on down below here. And then there's another side, kind of like a half zip bag where like if I own a pump or if I've not yet lost a pump, I'll put it there and like spoon and trash and it's never this well organized. A lot of times I'm really tired and I just end up stuffing shit in random places. Um, this little bag up here holds like, depending on the trip, like canisters, like CO2, a little pump. Uh, I've got a Dyna plug in there just in case the tubeless really goes bad. I've got an extra tube in there. I've got an extra tube in here as well. Howdy. Yeah, I think I took this from my mom, and by I think I took it from my mom, I took it from my mom, so there's a chance she'll want that back at some point. Uh, and then I put a water bottle up here, because it's convenient, and I've taken up the bottle bosses down there, and it's just good to have something. So like, I'll frequently throughout the day pour like water from an algae into this bottle. And then up here, this harness, like if I'm bringing a tent with, I'll usually strap the tent there, but right now it's just sleeping bag, wet sleeping bag, kind of, and, uh, uh, synthetic puffy and then on the back end here is strap shoes to a big seat bag uh, in there right now is like rain jacket some extra food and my sleeping pad if it's a big ride I'll usually make this just clothing and I'm not I'm not very good at packing I'll usually put the things I need most immediately in the least convenient spot so right now, if it rained, I'd be completely screwed because the rain jacket's in there. Um, and then up top, there's this little bag, which is fun. Uh, I usually throw this on like the front uh, of my handlebars if I'm out for like a day ride. It just holds a bunch of food and like miscellaneous things. Sometimes a picture of Sheryl Crow, just some weird stuff like that, I guess. Um, I've got a little rubber ducky down here for good luck. Uh, it's pretty muddy ducky at this point. And then yeah, um, made the move to one by about a year ago. Uh, sometimes I still really miss two by. Actually I consistently miss it because I like low gearing. I'm not very concerned with looking cool, but um, this has been a good setup for like do everything because I'll use this bike for bar hopping, I'll use it for road riding, I'll use it for I guess riding single tracks sometimes, and I'll use it for just ripping gravel and bikepacking. So uh, it's heavy, it's sturdy. The frame will probably outlast all of us. And if you're feeling frisky, you can definitely get wild on it. So this is a an old Cannondale. I don't even know what kind of bike it is. This was my mom's mountain bike and she gave it to me when someone stole my mountain bike. Been using it as a town cruiser for a while and uh, this is my first bikepacking adventure on it. So yeah, we bought some packs to load it up and uh, I got my, my clothes, my rain jacket, a big puffy, got my med kit and my hammock in here um, and then I got my sandals here Got like extra tube, those kind of supplies in here. Got all my food in here. Got some dried food, um, two mountain house bags, and my coffee mug. And then in here, I just have some miscellaneous supplies like a toothbrush and um, sunscreen and my headlamp. And then I've got these two pouches for some water and some snacks. 
bear spray, and my sleeping bag, and some more water down there. And that's pretty much it. And I got my fanny pack too, with some more snacks and my GoPro and an extra tube, and my phone. Yeah, that's everything I got. Light and fast. Light and fast, and my helmet. What's up guys, Will Phelps here. I'm gonna run you through my bikepacking fly fishing setup that I'm using for this trip. So I'm gonna start with the bike itself. It is an REI bike. It's a Ponderosa Navarre. It's my mom's old bike. So it has a lot of meaning to me. It's been the family for a while. Uh, this is also my bike in college, just for getting around campus. I used it when I lived in Bozeman, just to get around town and got on a lot of short adventures on it, but never a big adventure like this. And I was a little worried before getting out that things might go wrong because it's such an old bike, but it's held up really well. No issues, a um, few minor things, but it's been awesome. So, I mean, the main thing before this trip was just getting outfitted with the right gear. So big shout out to Wheaton Cycles for hooking us up with a bunch of stuff. Um, we went in there and we got almost all of our bags from them and went to REI, got the panniers in the back. Um, so all around, this has been a great setup. Loaded it up a little much with gear, but that's kind of how it goes sometimes. You just want to bring everything in the kitchen sink. But really a trip like this is about downsizing and simplifying everything. Up front right here, we have the camera bag. This is important because it's easily accessible. When I'm riding, I can just stop really quick, grab the R5 on top, and then underneath I have the drone, the Mavic Mini, really small and lightweight and it all fits together. Pretty much all the camera gear goes in here. Filters, cloth, lens cleaning cloths, ro little rocket blower, you name it. Everything I need for my camera stuff is here. And also in this little Patagonia bag here, I keep my little battery charger. I keep my filters, batteries for the camera, more lens cleaning cloths, uh, all sorts of stuff. A little battery block just to charge the phone, that sort of thing, you know. All the little doodads go in this kit, and that goes in the pannier, so pretty consolidated camera gear, super important. So the next sweet modification are these two little bottle holders, but I don't keep water in them. Um, they're mainly just for holding like peanuts, snack bars, uh, goo energy, maybe little instant coffee packets. The other one, I got my phone, my inReach, and my GoPro. You know, just quick access items, it's sick because you can stow a lot of shit in there. And then bear spray on top, super important around here. Got the headlight, and then in the middle, we got the fly rod, which is a very important piece of the puzzle. Operates super easily. You just unscrew this right here. Don't even have to take the rod tube off. And boom, fly rod just slides right out, super easy and you're fishing. And then in the saddle bag, or in the frame bag here, are kind of all the necessities. My tools, repair kit, extra tubes, tape, zip ties. Um, I keep my wallet in there, sunscreen, you know, daily use sort of things. That's basically my center console of the vehicle. And then two water bottles, and in the back we have the panniers. And the panniers are super important for stowing mass amounts of gear. Here, they're waterproof. Got a massive sleeping bag. I strap the flip-flops to the top, which I'm wearing for fly fishing. And this pin here, it's the food pin here. Got trash, hammock, um, you name it. Fly fishing stuff goes in there. And then right here, we got another pin here. Got clothes, camera gear, med kit, rain jacket. So that's the rig.